Mountains! 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 Let's be honest, they're pretty huge. So, how do you measure a mountain? I'm guessing a giant tape measure isn't an option? Well, there are three main ways that scientists can try to measure a mountain. The first way is the traditional way, in which it uses maths. Yep, you heard me, it's useful after all. Scientists use something called trigonometry, which uses triangles to figure out the height of an object. For example, they put a point at the top of the mountain, at the bottom, and a point next to it, to make a triangle. Then, by working out how big the angles are inside the triangle, it means they can work out its height. However, this method is not super accurate. The second way uses Global Positioning Satellites, or GPS for short, like the maps on your phone or sat-navs in cars. And it's one of the most accurate methods. It involves a team of scientists hiking up a mountain carrying a satellite receiver device with them. When they reach the top, a satellite in space can pick up their location. However, although it's very good at figuring out where they are, it's not so great at figuring out how high they are. So the team have to stay in the exact same spots without moving for around several hours for the satellite to collect all the data it needs to figure out their height. But this method takes a long time. It's a bit tricky to measure every mountain this way. Which brings us on to method three, photogrammetry. Pretty fancy, eh? It involves flying over a mountain and taking lots and lots of super high quality photographs. These pictures can then be uploaded to a computer, which uses special software to create a 3D model of the mountain. From this, scientists can work out its height. This means that mountains in harder to reach areas can be mapped more easily. Hold up! Before you think that's the end of it, there's loads of debates on whether mountain measurements can ever be accurate. That's because lots of things can affect them. There's some easy ones like, do you include the snow on top of a mountain and its height? But there's hard ones like, can earthquakes make a mountain shrink? So after all that, we've learned it's really tough work measuring a mountain.